Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Pre-Calculus. Today we will discuss equations of lines, a point slope form, slope intercept form, and standard form. We'll also talk about perpendicular and parallel lines, particularly with respect to slopes. Let's look at some definitions briefly. Point slope form says if x sub 1, y sub 1 is a given point on the line and x, y is a point on the same line, then y minus y sub 1 equals m parentheses x minus x sub 1 is a point slope form of a line. Slope intercept form. y equals mx plus b is a slope intercept form where m is a slope and b is a y intercept. Standard form ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are constants, and a, b, and c are not equal to zero all at the same time. Let us look at a quick example. Use the point slope form to find an equation of the line passing through the point 2, negative 3 and having a slope of 4. So here, this tells us our slope equals 4. That means our m equals negative 4, right? Slope or m equals negative 4. Now, I want to use a point slope form of a line. We're given only one point. Let's call that x sub 1, y sub 1, okay? 2 is x sub 1, negative 3 is y sub 1. Now the point slope form of the equation, let's say that it's ps form, will be y minus y sub 1 is equal to m, parentheses x minus x sub 1. Let's plug in some values that we have. y sub 1, we knew was negative 3, so y minus negative 3 equals m, and this was negative 4, times x minus 2, because 2 was x sub 1. Now we can simplify this a little bit more, to have y plus 3 equals negative 4, x minus 2, and that is our point slope form, right? So that is the point slope form of the line. Now, we want to make this into a slope intercept form. So what we can do is to continue by solving for y. That is, we want y only on the left side. So what we want to do is we'll expand this to so see y plus 3 is equal to negative 4 distributed into x and minus 2, so it will be negative 4x plus 8. Then we'll subtract 3 from both sides. Just doing some algebra here. We'll have left y is equal to negative 4x plus 5. Now this is our slope-intercept form. with m as we knew was negative 4 and our b equals 5, right? So b equals 5, that's our y-intercept. And so this we have it in slope-intercept form and we are done. Okay. The next thing we shall do is that we shall talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Now, we know that parallel lines are two lines that continue forever and they never intersect, they never meet, okay? In terms of the parallel lines that we shall discuss, these will be non-vertical parallel lines, that means we can find a slope for them. 
numerical slope, not infinite slope, such that the slope of the first line, m sub 1, is equal to the slope of the second line, m sub 2. In other words, if two lines have the same slope, we say they are parallel. Now let us look at the two diagrams in this graph. The first line, the purple line, has a slope rise over on this 2 over 1, so m sub 1 will be equal to 2. What about m sub 2? The slope of the red line. That slope, the rise over run, is also 2 over 1, which is 2. Because m1 equals 2 and m sub 2 equals 2, we say both lines are parallel because they have the same slope. Now let us look at non-vertical perpendicular lines. For non-vertical perpendicular lines, the slopes are negative reciprocal of each other. So we say m sub 1 is equal to negative 1 over m sub 2, or m sub 2 is equal to negative 1 over m sub 1. Or equivalently, m sub 1 times m sub 2 is equal to negative 1. Now let us check the slopes of the lines on this diagram and see if that meets the criteria for perpendicular lines. M sub 1, the purple line, is equal to 2. So the slope of the purple line is equal to 2. The slope of the blue line is down 1 over 2, so that's negative 1 half, so m sub 2 equals negative 1 half. 2 times negative 1 half equals 1, so then these two lines, because their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, they are perpendicular. Look at an example. For an example, write an equation for a line passing through negative 4, 1 and parallel to the line defined by x plus 4y equals 3. Now we will want to call this line x plus 4y equals 3. We're going to call that line 1. Right? And the other line, which is parallel to line 1. And passing through this point 4, 1, we will call this for line 2. Okay, so that point is for line 2. Okay, line 1, we're going to try to find the slope of line 1. Let's call that m1. In order to find m1, we want to rewrite line 1 in such a way that we have it in the form y equals mx plus b. So what we want to do, we want to take x plus 4y equals 3. And then we want to write it so that, so that the y is on the left side. So that the y is on the left side. Although the y only is on the left side. So here we go. Subtract x from both sides. So what we have left is 4y is equal to negative x plus 3. 4y equals negative x plus 3. Negative x plus 3. And if we divide both sides by 4, our equation in slope-intercept form will be y is equal to negative 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths. So this is line 1 in slope-intercept form. Line 1 in slope-intercept form. So the slope of line 1, let's call that m sub 1, is going to be negative 1 fourths. Now if line 2 is parallel to line 1, that means the parallel line As the same slope, same slope, so m2, m sub 2, the slope of line 2 must be 
equal to negative one fourth, right? Now we know the slope of M2 is one fourth, and we know that the line two passes through negative one fourth. So we want to write the answer in slope intercept form so we can choose x as negative 4 and y as 1. We want to write that in the form y is equal to mx plus b or m2, m sub 2x plus b. Um, we know y was 1, m sub 2 was negative 1 fourths, x was negative 4 plus b, we don't know. So 1 would be equal to 1 plus b. Subtract 1 from both sides, we have 0 equals b. So b equals 0, the slope is equal to 0. So the si form, slope intercept form of line 2 is y equals negative 1 fourth x. And we're done, right? The standard form, standard form, what we need to do is have the x's and the y's on both sides. So in the standard form, we start with our slope intercept form, y is equal to negative 1 fourths x. We add 1 fourth x to both sides. we will be left up with a form 1 fourth x plus y is equal to 0. And this is our standard form. This is our standard form, right? Standard form, slope intercept form. And we're done. Okay. Let's look at another question. Write the equation for the line passing through 2, negative 3, and perpendicular to the line y is equal to 1 half x. So m sub 1 here, let's call this line 1. m sub 1 will be equal to 1 half. m sub 2 is negative reciprocal of m sub 1. because it is perpendicular to the line, so m sub 2 will be equal to negative 2, right? So you got to choose a number where m sub 2 times m sub 1 equals negative 1, and negative 2 times 1 half will be negative 1. Then we want to write a slope intercept form of that. So we have the point there on the line, 2 and negative 3, that will be x coordinate and your y coordinate. We want the form y is equal to m sub 2x plus b, y equals m of m x plus b. m sub 2, we know that is negative 2, y was negative 3, so we ne negative 3 is equal to negative 2, x was 2 plus b. So negative 3 is equal to negative 4 plus b, add 4 to both sides doing some algebra here. So b equals 1. So our slope intercept form of this function will be y, or this line will be y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Then we want to write our standard form. Our standard form is where we have the x and the y's on the same side. What we want to do with that situation is we want to just start with a y equals negative 2x plus 1 and then add 2x to both sides to have the x's and y's on one side so that means 2x plus y equals 1. And this is our standard form of the line, right? 2x plus y equals 1 is the standard form. And the slope intercept form will be y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Thank you very much. Remember to like and subscribe. And see you in the next lesson.